Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk to you about why you should hire an assistant within your business, okay? If you're a business owner um, like me um, and you're, you've got staff and you're running a successful business, then there's going to come a point in time where you need to hire uh, an assistant. An executive assistant is what we call it in, in our business. Um, and the reason why I've done this, um, it's, be, it's been a recommendation from our, um, a business networking, not, not networking training event we go to called Strategic Coach, set up by a guy called, a guy called Dan Sullivan. Um, a lot of you might have heard of it. Anyway, it's a Canadian based company and you meet once per quarter and you talk and you go there and they, they give you training on how to optimize your business and put systems and processes in place to make things run smoothly so you can create a self-managing company. And uh, um, there's a trend there. The, the, the successful businesses that are attending in my group, plus the, the guy that presents who's also a um, student of Strategic Coach, um, they've all got assistants that um, are super, super valuable to the business. And um, I think I started looking for one about a year ago and um, it's been about, I think about nine months now since I've first had an assistant and it's awesome. And I recommend if you guys are at the point where you're a little bit run off your feet or you don't know where to turn or you're being pulled in lots of directions, this is probably your next best hire because it makes things so much easier. It's highly recommended. Um, but some of the stuff that Sarah, my assistant, does for me is inbox monitoring, okay? Me, I have a bad habit of checking my inbox um, too much, refreshing, because I like that little dopamine hit of getting an email from a client that they've, we've done a good job for them or they want to order more leads or whatever. So. I have removed myself completely from my email address and she looks after that and I just have a personal one that no one has access to, none of our clients. Um, it's only used you know, for personal stuff, which is great. So anytime an email comes in that um, Sarah can deal with, she deals with it herself. And when it's, it's an email that none of my team or her, her can deal with, then it comes over to me. So it really is a way to limit the amount of time you spend in your inbox, which is great when you're wanting to free up time to get more real work done. And that's what it's all about, really. If you're working as the business owner in the business, you don't want to be doing small stuff like this. You want to be working on strategy about how you can grow that business, how you can make changes, how you can um, you know, optimize the way that the business is growing. The, the saying you want to be working on your business, not in it. And this is having an assistant helps massively. Same with scheduling in the calendar. So I'm still not very good at this, but what I'm moving towards now is Sarah having, she has full access to my calendar now, but what she will be doing is starting to implement and know what I need to be doing throughout the day. So we break it down into one hour, 45 minute segments or whatever. And she knows what's going on in the business. So she'll be able to pre pre-fill my diary the, ne um, the previous day on what tasks needs to be to, to get done the following day, okay? So it's almost taken out of my control a little bit. I don't have much time to procrastinate and try and do um, stuff that wastes time, like checking stats in Facebook, for example, which is a complete waste of time. You should not be refreshing your stats every, every 15 minutes or so. Um, so that's something that is, I'm kind of halfway there at the moment, but where I want to get to is just my calendar is so full of stuff to do that I don't have a choice apart from just getting that stuff done and working like a madman throughout the day, okay? Because having an efficient day is um, what's most important and not many people have those days where they're just bang, bang, bang on it all the time, especially if you're a creative person and your mind wanders like, like mine does. Um, also, an assistant will act as a barrier. So if um, clients are trying to get in contact with you, um, if your staff, are, uh, you know, my staff don't really bother me too much, but um, if, there's, if you've got staff that are just asking questions all the time and, and they're not kind of thinking for themselves, then it's a really good opportunity for the assistant to act as a barrier between 
clients and staff when you're trying to do real work, which is Im very important. Simple stuff like paying bills and invoicing. For me, um, I used to get emails from, you know, friends if I had to pay for a holiday or if I had to um, pay the gardener or the cleaner or whatever, or nursery bills or school bills or whatever. It's always such a nightmare logging into your phone, remembering your passwords, figuring out the sort codes they need to go to, inputting it, getting the text messages in. I mean, Sarah has access to everything now of, of mine as far as personal bank accounts and business bank accounts. So all of this has taken off my plate and it's been, um, it's been great not having to worry about all that stuff, which just frustrates me. It takes up so much time. So that's a real bonus. Um, the second thing is forcing, forcing the follow through. So for me, and I suspect a lot of other um, agency owners and business owners, um, very creative. So we like to think of ways to get better or to reach out to land new clients or coming up with new angles within um, advertising copy or just creative ideas that are gonna move the needle, okay? I'm great at that, but what I'm not good at is actually having this stuff followed through. So I'll speak to my team and I say, I've got this great idea, go off and implement it. And then, um, you know, one week down the line, I've moved on to the next thing. And sometimes it's hard to close that loop, all right? So having an assistant that's got high follow um, through superpowers is, uh, is really powerful within the business too. Um, and the last thing is, it's a kind of summation of all these things really there is it, um, an assistant will just make your life easier all around. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little glimpse into what, um, you know, my, what a world looks like with an assistant. And yeah, sure, it's a luxury, but it's also well worth, well worth it. I highly recommend. Speak soon.